Welcome to Film My Run on uh, this beautiful evening. It is a lot calmer than it was when I was here this time last year. We're on a hill fort and uh, we are overlooking the town of St Peter's Port in Guernsey for the Gun 31. 31 miles, that's not actually quite 31 miles, but 31 miles-ish all the way along the coastal cliff section of the Guernsey coast um, all the way to the end, 16 miles, and then all the way back, 16 miles-ish. 15, 16, 14, something like that. Starting at midnight, the idea is to get back here by 7.30 in the morning or sunrise time. Cut off, I think, is 7.30 in the morning. So uh, let's have fun and enjoy it. So don't be last you came out of the bush and like... Yeah, Whoa. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't be scared. Who is this guy? Right, this is Tom who won this race last year. Tom, what's going on? Uh, I God knows why I'm here again, to be blatantly honest. I'm actually in bed by now. <laughs> uh, no, it's good. Much nicer than last year. Are you looking at a time? Uh, hopefully five and a half. Well, they cut off seven and a half hours and I did seven hours, 36 minutes. So you've got a score to settle, haven't you? I've got a big score to settle, yeah. Tell us your name. Tom. Tom Chamberlain. Right, Tom. Um, I was the only person that didn't finish the course last year. Go on, Eight and a half kilometers in, so five miles, one hour, 13 minutes. Basically, the entire cliff coastline of Guernsey is littered with these steps. To make sure we go the right way, there's these red markers here to tell us that's wrong, and the white markers here tell us we're going the right way. So the first place runner has gone by, the second place is coming through now. Well done, buddy, he really isn't far ahead. Uh, he's dropping it. Yeah, he's quick, Amos. He's quick. Good job. Well done, buddy. What's your name? Graham. Well done, Graham. Good job. Fourth place. Living the dream, dude. Living the dream. Right, so this is uh, the halfway aid station, um, 24 ish kilometres, 23 and a bit something. So the cutoff here is 3.30, half a, three and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah. The cutoff here is three and a half hours. Um, I've just made it with eight minutes to spare. Hello mate. Thanks. Good job. Hello Tom. Still climbing steps. Four hours, ten minutes, twenty-nine kilometers, so just over ten miles left to go. This is the difficult section now. Um, lots of hillage to climb, 500 metres left to climb, but getting there, so uh, 11 kilometres to go, six and a half miles, seven miles. to get in under seven hours but I don't think I'm going to manage it. 
but I've also got a guy about 200 meters behind me chasing me down, four kilometers to go. Well, I've not made it in seven hours, but I've held off the guy behind me. I should finish in about 7.08. Just coming up now, hard work that, but a uh, better time than last year. And here we go. Here he comes, here's our final runner coming in at the end of Gun 31. Well done Tom. Well done. I must have thought about quitting about a hundred times. That's what an ultra is all about, that's what they're for. Yeah, my children said don't come home if you don't finish. <laughs> well, there you go then. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? So, there we are. I managed to finish in 7.08, so quicker than last year. This time last year, I was just coming into the finish just before 7.30, which is the cutoff time. And I managed to catch the sun just peeping over the horizon. What a great end to a fantastic run, all in the dark. 29 miles, even though it's called the Gun 31, it's about 29 miles from here at the fort, all the way out over the cliffs and back again. And uh, it's a great run. Come and do it next year. It's tough. The cutoffs are hard, but if you train, you can do it. I know you can. And that's it. That's it from Guernsey. We'll probably see you next year for the Guernsey 36. <laughs> Until then, take care. Thanks for watching. See you again for another marathon, another ultra, another crazy adventure next time. Bye bye. So Peter, how's it gone today? It's gone well. Yeah. Um, for some people, it's not gone so well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a. It's a tight cut off, that, isn't it? It, it is a very tight cut off. It's a tough race. It's supposed to be a tough race. So you. So that is deliberate, then. It is deliberate. So who should come and do this race? Anybody that wants to challenge, really. Um, anyone who thinks they can do it. I mean, there's a there's a um, dual cut off, if you like. So if you get in seven and a half hours, you get a medal and a t-shirt. If you get in without nine hours, then you get a t-shirt but no medal. But it's also good for people who maybe are trained for other races or they're looking to step up to a longer race that extends into the darkness and they haven't done a lot of running, trail running in the dark. It's a safe race for doing that. There's lots of race support. You're never really far from civilization, even though you actually feel like you are, as you know. Um, so it's good for that as well. Is it easy to, for people living in the UK, is it easy to get to Guernsey? Yes, it's, um, there's lots of flights, um, not so many boats at this time of year. It's not so easy as uh, in May when the G36 is on. But um, yeah, there's a lot, plenty of options of flights. Um, some people choose to come 
stay overnight the night before. Some people come in on the Saturday and go on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, I've, I, I flew in at four o'clock yesterday, sat in a cafe, and then raced at 12, and I'm flying back today. So I haven't even needed a hotel. Yeah, so today. it makes it fairly cheap as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, but it's good. I mean, you get the uh, you don't get the full beauty of the island like you do in G36 because it's dark. But um, you do get this sense of isolation. So it's, um, it's a particular kind of, of race, isn't it? That you you need a challenge. You're looking to step up. You want to do some night running. You've maybe got a, a, another race coming up that has night running in it, and you need yeah. to practice, or you need to practice on the cliffs, mm -hmm. or you just want to do something completely different for the adventure of it. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I mean, I can't stress the safety as well. This, you get the feeling of isolation, but you're never actually really far from civilization. And we have motorized sweepers to go around in an extremely safe environment. If you might be nervous at night running in other locations, you don't need to be nervous in Guernsey. It's perfectly safe. So if you've never been to Guernsey before, why not? And, and maybe you're new to ultra running, why not come and do GU36? If you love it, which you will, come and do Gun 31 and have a real challenge. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Cheers. Right, I'm going to go and sit in a cafe for hours.